This is Graham from .easy and today we're going to be showing you how to change your website with using WordPress so that it's a little more secure because whenever you're using a scripted site, WordPress, Joomla or anything else like Drupal, any scripting at all, it has a username, it has a password and these are very important to make sure you keep these secure. Now what we're going to be showing you specifically is how to change a user within WordPress. Now the reason for that is probably about 80% of you, it is actually quite a high number of people just who are using WordPress, actually just leave this as the default username of admin. Now, although there's nothing really wrong per se with using this username, it is a little bit unsecure. Now the reason for that specifically is because admin being the default username means that a lot of people who are gonna try and get access to your account, like hackers for instance, We'll try this one first of all because they know that most people use it. So leaving your username as something like admin helps decrease the security of your site. So it is fairly important to make sure that you do change this or you set up something originally that's different. You can additionally within WordPress change this very easily, meaning it's not a bad idea to change from time to time. Like say in the event you get a new webmaster, you may want to decide to change it so the old master doesn't know how to get in. So it is important to make sure and go through and do this. So we're going to walk you through how to do it. We've set up this demo site here. As you can see, at .easydemo.com slash cafe, which is a demo WordPress site we've set up. It's a nice little slideshow here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your website where you have WordPress set up. Once you've got this activated, you can just type in after it, just like you can see here in the address bar, wp-login.php. You can use the other one of wp-admin. However, we'd suggest to actually go straight to the login page directly, just because this is the actual login page. And if your site ever has any issues with what are called the permalinks, so it's not redirecting properly, you may not be able to get to this from wp-admin. So it is better idea to go to this page directly. So once you're here, you wanna start off by logging into your account. So in this case, we're just going to type in the one we've set up, which is .easyadmin. This is whatever username you've already set up for WordPress. And then you want to type in the password for it as well. So now you can see we're in the dashboard where you normally go to make any changes within your WordPress site. Within the dashboard here, we actually want to go down to where it says users. When you go to users, you'll see this is the user address you've already set up and it's already there. So the first thing we need to do when we're changing the user is we need to go to where it says add new at the top. It's gonna to ask you to type in the username. You can type in anything you want. In this case, we're gonna type in just .easy test. And the second one, it's gonna ask you for an actual email address. So you can put in anything you want. So we're gonna put in test at .easy.com. It's gonna ask you a first name. You can put test or typo test and then you put test again or whatever first and last name you want to choose you can even put a nickname if you want now it is important that you do remember what you put in for the first and last name if you have more than one user and the reason for that is when we go to make this change later on WordPress will actually reference this first and last name or the nickname if you have one and that's what it'll actually try and use so make sure you do put in something it's going to remember the website, if you have a website for the user, you want to put that in, otherwise you can leave it blank. The password, you can put in any password you want. You do want to make sure you put in something secure. So medium password, you can always put in something higher so it's not a problem there. So you want to put in a password, make sure it is there. You can put in something that's a higher strength if you want. I'm just putting in a password quickly. And I know it's secure even though it says medium. Then the most important thing here is that where it says role, you need to make sure you set this to administrator. Otherwise, you may run into some problems later on, such as not being able to access a lot of content. And although it can be changed later on, it does require going through the database, and you'll probably want to call us in that case so we can help walk you through that. And once you've got that set up, you want to click on where it says Add New User, and it's going to create the account. Now you can see there's both accounts set up here. The next thing we actually want to do is we want to log out of this one. You can do it by going to the top right corner and going to where it says log out. Once you've logged out of the account, you're going to be back at the login screen and you want to sign in to your other account. Once you're in here, you're going to see you're back at the normal dashboard exactly as you were before. And then we want to go back to users just as we were before. 
Now this time, now that we've done that, we need to go to the previous account you had set up, which in this case is most likely admin, or if you're resetting a personal one, you wanna change that. So you wanna highlight that one, and what we're going to do then is we're just gonna get rid of it. So you wanna select delete from the actions, and then click on where it says apply. Now it's, it is very, very important that you look at this section here. What it's asking you right now is whether you want to delete everything that you did in your previous user. It is very, very, very important, I cannot stress this enough, that you make sure you have it set to the second option where it says attribute all posts to, and it's gonna show you the first and last name or the nickname of the new user you set up. If you have more than one user, it's gonna give you the different list of them here. So you can choose between which one you want to set this up to. It is very important. If you do not select this, it will not transfer all your pages and posts, all the previous things you did to the new user. It will instead outright delete them. So again, very important you make sure that is selected. Once you've done that, you wanna click on where it says confirm deletion and behold, the account is gone. Now that you've gone ahead and done that, you wanna to go to visit site and you'll see your site is exactly there as it was before. So no changes have actually been done to your site. If you have any posts or pages that before showed the older username, what it's gonna do is it's now gonna show the new username. So everything will seamlessly transfer over for you. So it is very important to make sure to go through and change these usernames from time to time because they do help ensure security to your site. You can use different variations or permutations of them if you want to help it be a little easier for you to remember. You want to make sure to keep them fairly different than using a word like admin. Additionally, if you have a website name as part of it, it does decrease the security a little bit. The password you want to also make sure to be changing and rotating from time to time as well, because using the same password continuously can also help decrease the security of the site. Now, for this, we would also suggest, of course, to make sure that whenever you're using WordPress or Joomla or anything else, it is important to make sure you keep everything up to date. So in WordPress as well, if you click on it, you'll see this little icon will sometimes appear where you can see this comment here. If you see a little icon that looks like two arrows going around the circle, this tells you you need to update something on your site. It is very, very important. You can see here from ours that there's no object there. That's because everything we have is up to date. You can also check this by going to updates on the left-hand side under the dashboard. And as you can see here, it says all our plugins are up to date, all our themes is up to date, and we have the latest version of WordPress. So it is very important to make sure you see all three of these things are here. If you see something is out of date, make sure you update it because the most common reason why updates are actually put out is for security purposes because they found an issue with it there's a security vulnerability and they put out a new version to fix it. If you choose to leave an older version, you are running the risk of someone who knows about this vulnerability taking advantage of it. So it is also very important with WordPress security to make sure that everything is kept up to date. If you find also that one of your plugins hasn't been updated in a long time, because it'll actually show you update time for your plugins, you do need to make sure that these are maybe switched out to be using something else. So it is important to make sure that you are getting active ones here for your changes to your plugins. All of this can help to attribute to your site being more secure so that your WordPress doesn't have any issues. You can easily contact us at our support. You can comment below this video as well. You can also contact us on Facebook and we can definitely take a look into that. It is important to keep your site safe and secure so that we can help you make sure that this shows up online and so that you can help get that traffic to your site, the visitors you want to have there, without any danger to them or yourself. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact our support again. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you. Mm -hmm.